What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Crash Play Gaming. I'm your host Crash and just real quick a shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much. I never thought I would reach above 70 subscribers and I have so it's only up from here guys. So I really do appreciate everybody that has supported me so far. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. It makes me want to continue doing this and I will. So let's talk a little bit about the deck. I've never featured an Arceus deck completely. So this is pretty much Arceus. Let's go ahead and go through it and it'll be fun. It's Actually really versatile in the way it can handle a lot of situations just because you have so many ways to search what you need from the most part. Anyways, let's get into the question of the day. It's time for another Pokemon question of the day and let's go over the last video's question. This fighting type Pokemon loves to throw berries. It also lives in packs and they are very well coordinated and have amazing teamwork. Usually the leader of the group can throw the furthest. Who is this Pokemon? And if you're like this person... Rafael Romero, you went ahead and guessed Passimian, and you'd be correct. Passimian is the throwing Pokemon, basically, and it lives in groups, and it's a lemur, and they're fun. It's awesome. Anyways, congratulations to Rafael. You have one point, you need two more, and you win. Pretty much as simple as that. Let's go ahead and get into this video's question. This one's a simple one. I'm going to give you two hints. It's a poison-type Pokemon, and this Pokemon is a king. So go ahead and submit your answer in the comment section down below. Shouldn't be too hard to guess which Pokemon that is from those two uh, hints. So good luck with that, and let's get into the deck list. All right, I've done a couple decks with Arceus V-Star, but I don't make those decks, but Arceus is actually the main attacker. It's kind of a support Pokemon, but in this deck, Arceus is going to be the main focal point of what we do here. So let's just go over Arceus real quick. I'm sure by now you know it, but it has the Star Birth ability where we can search out two cards, any cards, put them into our hand and shuffle our deck which is cool and also has a really amazing attack called trinity nova for three energies we do 200 damage and we get to put three basic energy cards on any pokemon v that we like in any way we like and that's why rcs v star is just so good so we are going to be pairing this with an Inteleon line of course because we're also going to be using a couple copies here of sharon's care so that if it has any damage counters on it and we get one shot and we don't get one shot we can just scoop it up come in with the next one and start taking knockouts and wins like that. And we also play one copy of Dunsparce here because obviously fighting is a good Pokemon type to have because Arceus is weak to fighting, so we need to, you know, get rid of that somehow. So that's why we play that. We also play one copy of Zigzagoon. This kind of helps with the math to knock out some Pokemon, especially basic Pokemon Vs. It just helps knock them out and hit, lets us hit that 220 when we have the double turbo energy on. And then, of course, we have the Shady Dillings line of Inteleon that lets us get trainer cards. We have the Quick Shooter to help with some mass. Honestly, you might even get away with not playing Quick Shooters and just do Shady Dealings as well. So, you could make that edit to the deck, and I would not be upset at you for doing so. Let's scroll down a little bit. So, we also play one copy of Judge. This is extremely well against Mew players because we play three copies of Path of the Peak. So you slap down Path of the Peak, and then you judge Mew players, and then they're like, well, crap, I can't do anything about it. That's what the goal is. And then we got a couple copies of Big Charm to help uh, survivability of our Arceus. One copy of Choice Belt to get those quick knockouts if we need to. A copy of Palpad because we want to cycle the Sharon's Care sometimes. And then we have two Melanies to help accelerate the water energy if we need to from the discard to our Pokemon. Uh, a couple Scoop Up Nets, Quick Ball here. Just to help search out some Pokemon. One Marnie for disruption again. One research. We have a very small support account because we're going to be mainly using Sharon's Care and Bosses. And we also have that V-Star uh, Star Birth ability to help us search out whatever we need. Plus the Intellion line to help us search out. So we have a lot of ways to get exactly what we need. That's why you kind of see one of, of these two supporters here. And then, you know, our we got 10 energies here. 4 double to roll, 6 water energy. And I think that's pretty much the deck. Let's go ahead and get into the action. All right, our opponent won the coin flip and they decided to go first. This gives us an opportunity to use our Trinity Charge attack and we can power up the Arceus on the bench. Might be playing up against Rapid Strike Urshifu here. We see the Water Energy, we see the Passimian Rapid Strike style, so it wouldn't surprise me and there it is. So we can safely assume our initial Arceus is going to get knocked out this first turn. Um, we need to get a Dunsparce in play. This is going to be a little bit tricky right now. Hmm. It's probably going for a Crobat. Looks like a traditional Urshifu VMAX build. Oh, a Sobble. Okay. So the last card in their hand is either Drizzle or Research, I can imagine. 
top deck the Arceus V Star, which is great. I'm gonna have to level ball for the. <laughs> I do the Dunce Far so I don't get knocked out, but if I do. Let's do the Dunce Far because I have Arceus V Star in my hand. And then let's Trinity Charge and power up this guy on the bench because I can just retreat this Arceus next turn. Okay. Okay, we're, we're doing all right. I can... I have ways to get around this. There's a level ball that's going for a Drizzle with Professor's Research, I'm assuming. They don't have an Octillery down, which is kind of helpful for us. But the problem is, as soon as that Dunsparce gets knocked out, we're going to have a hard time. But then again, this also looks like the Rapid Flow build, where they don't play... Um, Basic fighting energy, they just play basic water energy. They have the VMAX. And maybe they don't have a switch or any way to attack me. If that's the case, I can definitely use our Starbirth power to get a boss's orders. And a Sawbolt for next turn. I think Sawbolt would be the best thing to get. We'll see what happens. Don't care about this Passimian too much. I was thinking they're kind of frustrated they don't have an attack, and oof, these Urshifu decks are the bane to this deck's existence because they hit for weakness. And Arceus is our main attacker. All right, that's all they do. We top deck a Water Energy, which is actually nice to see. So we can go ahead and go into the active. Attach the energy. Let's go ahead and use our Star Birth attack. I mean, ability, not attack. I think we'll grab a Sobble. And a Boss. I'm just looking through the deck, see what I have. I can use a Quick Ball, can't I? No, I don't want to get rid of anything in my hand. So we'll just go straight for the Sobble. Yeah, Sobble Boss seems okay. Play down the Sobble. Let's go ahead and boss up the VMAX. I want to get the first hit in. And we will do so with Trinity Nova. This way, whenever they do their Rapid Flow, I can just knock them out again. Which is what I want. So hopefully our opponent's a little stuck. Maybe they don't have the energy that they need. Oh, my seat cover fail. That's a bummer. Oh, come on. Come back up. It makes the camera less fuzzy. Stay there. I'll have to fix it later anyways. Ooh, they get they did get a Drizzle, so that can get them another Research or a Marnie, maybe. Let's see what they grab. They are down three Quick Balls, one level ball. Evolution Incense. Okay, that can go for pretty much whatever they want. The Rapid Strike Intellion. Ooh, what do they have in their hand? They must have top decked. Okay, a Marnie. I'm okay with the Marnie, that's fine. I didn't have everything in here. I was going to drizzle out next turn. Question is, do they get their energy? Dig in an Arceus V-Star and a Judge. Hmm, this is going to be a tough one. Do they get their Rapid Flow off? If they do, Dunsparce and Sobble are goners. And then there goes my Arceus's. Level Ball for another Drizzle. Dunsparce could definitely go down next turn thanks to Inteleon, though. So I do have to be careful with that. Let's see what they get off this Drizzle. I might just hit him with a Judge. And that'll be fun. Tower of Waters. Bummer. That's not good. Don't have a boss. Ah, they do have the Rapid Flow in a fresh Urshifu. Ugh, that's a pain. Now I don't even want to Judge. And they do hit the two support Pokemon. So next turn we're going to be getting Rapid Float again, most likely, with the Urshifu on the bench, but we'll be alright, I think. Double Turbo Energy is useless right now. Let's put that on, let's put that on. Let's go ahead and play, let's get rid of the Capacious Bucket, it's just one card we don't need. And let's play the Judge. Oh look, there's Drizzle, there's a boss. That's interesting. 
Judge and Boss are in there. Let's go ahead and use Trinity Nova. How could these Urshifus and hope for the best? Let's just go ahead and put that on there. That's one more card out the deck we don't need. Oh, now we gotta hope for the best. I mean, we, we have hit both these Urshifus, but they can... I think they can one-shot the active, right? 120, 240. No, they can't one-shot our active unless they have a belt on, and they don't. So this Urshifu is going to come up and do a rapid flow. Problem is, though, I need a share. Well, crap. Two Inteleons knock out our active. But they're going for the bench. Okay. I need a top deck of share and scare. It's down to 270. Mm hmm. Oh, you just scale thrusted. Scale thrust does knock out this one, too. Hmm. Well, don't have any other play I could do besides attack. <laughs> Top tech was horrible. Marnie would have been good. Something else. But that Tower of Waters was clutch for our opponent. They were able to keep one of their Urshifus alive. Yeah, well, we got three prizes. And now all they have to do is get an energy, and they win. Do they have it? I'm, I'm assuming they do. They got four of their prizes. They've only used two of them. They have supporters. If they don't have it, we win, though. It all comes down to if they get the energy. Does Kitako get the energy? I hope they're not just playing to play and they have the energy and they can do it. A quick ball. It's not an energy. Are they thinning? Do they have a research? Is it a Marnie? I hope it's not a Marnie. It's a little boss in my hand. Scoop up net. Okay, that'll get them a, a research, I guess. Or another Inteleon ping. Okay. Oh, that's right. They just put down that top of the street. We got it. They missed the energy. Heartbroken. I'm going to say thanks. Well played. Let's boss up the Urshifu. Trinity Nova, we beat Urshifu even though they took out our Dunce Bars. Heck yeah. Okay, we won the coin flip and get to go first, but unfortunately, there's not much we could do. We just started with two Sobbles, no Arceus. So this next turn, I'm going to get two Fizzles down. Our opponent plays Path to the Peak, which is fine. I'm going to lose two bosses orders here because I will end up researching. Opponent also plays a research. They are playing a Jolteon VMAX deck. So this will be good. I'm playing Sharon's Care. I don't mind. All right. They can't one-shot our Arceus, which is good, unless, they, of course, they're playing a Zapdos, a 1-0, which is totally possible. It's feasible. We do need to get two of our guys down, though. Top decking a scoop up net is fantastic. So, we are going to Drizzle for a quick ball. And there goes one boss's orders. That'll grab us our Arceus. We'll give that a double turbo. We can scoop up the Drizz here. Play down that Sobble. Let's go ahead and use the level ball for another Sobble. Let's use the Drizz Isle. This will get us a quick ball. Get rid of that boss's orders. Go for another Arceus. And then we research. Ooh, we hit two water energies. That's not what we want to see. Um, we'll play the big charm onto this one. We'll give this one the choice belt. And then we will Trinity charge to charge up the one on the bench. And then we're kind of struggling because we only have an evil instance. Hopefully I have the Shady Dealer in the deck. That would be great. That way I can get an RCSB star and a supporter of some sort. 
because here comes the Jolteon VMAX. And they zigzagoon my Arceus on the bench, which is frustrating. But having Sharon's care helps, so maybe I can get a Sharon's care. They can also Marty me, which would suck because I don't have any more water energies in the deck. And then I don't have the Arceus V-Star. So we will see what our opponent decides to do. They grab another level ball. It's going to go for a Sobble, I imagine. Okay. So I'm tempted to retreat into my Arceus V on the bench if they don't attack this turn. Scoop up net. Cool. So they are going to attack this turn. All right. And we get Marnie. Bummer. We had the V-Star in our hand and oh, the way to attack, but now we don't. And Drizzle is good. That gets us a Sharon's Care. Quick shooting in Teleon. I don't think it helps too much in this matchup. Just more liability, I guess. But I can play it. Top decking that is really good. So let's go there. Yes, two training cards. So Evolution Incense and the Sharon's Care, I think, is the best option for now. Because we can go up with the one on the bench. So let's pick up this Arceus. Let's put that one in the active. Let's go ahead and evolve into the V-Star. Put you back down on the bench. Give you the choice belt. Um, yeah, I think I only have two waters left in the deck, so we'll give you the double turbo. And then we're going to hold this Drizzile, I think, for next turn. I still have Starburst. What can this Drizzile really get me? Nothing much, right? I don't have Starburst. They play Path of Peak. Let's just go ahead and Trinity Nova. What could that Drizzile have gotten me? I have no way to replace their stadium. So the path is going to stay, so I don't have access to Starbirth. I have to remember that. Drizzle could get me a pal pad. Scoop up net. Drizzle could have got me a scoop up net. So I think I'll grab the scoop up net next turn with this Drizzle, hopefully. The bad thing about Jolteon, though, is it has free retreat, which is annoying. We have Sharon's care, though, which probably annoys them, too. But uh, they can eventually get around it. So this next turn we're going to use Sharon's Care again with the ability of the scoop up net here. And then we're going to get Palpad with the other Shady Dealings in Teleon. And then kind of try to get four Sharon's Cares hopefully. And that should win us the match, I think. But then Jolteon also plays Cheryl, which is annoying for us too. And they could totally do that. That Drizzle is going to get them another Jolteon VMAX that they can switch into. Scoop up net the Zigzagoon so that they can ping my Arceus on the bench, which is frustrating. But that Jolteon is still a Jolteon V, so maybe they don't have the VMAX. They don't have the VMAX. Okay. Two Drizzles is even better. Let's do that. Let's go for our Scoop up. Let's play the scoop up. Put you back down. Put you down. This is going to go for the Cheryl. Sharon's care, sorry. We will pick up this bad boy. Play you. Play that. Play that. Play an energy. And then evolve. And then take a knockout with Trinity Nova. We left one water energy in the deck so we can charge up our bench Arceus. 
and we take three prizes. All while denying our opponent any prizes whatsoever. Alright, do they have another way to ping the Arceus on the bench? I don't know. I'm sure they do. There's the quick shooter in Teleon. We have a way to get back our Sharon Scares. Do they have a way to evolve, though? They definitely are missing an evolution for the Jolteon VMAX. That gets it. Silly little Drizzile. I am thinking that I could boss to win. A Marnie gets rid of my energies. And my Inteleons. So that gets rid of my Sharon's Cares. Will they Marnie me? We'll find out. <laughs> oh, this is a, an interesting match. I am sure of it. They scoop up their Zigzagoon. They put it back down. I'm okay with that, actually. That's one less Zigzagoon I have to worry about. And they do Marnie. So hopefully I hit an Evolution Incense or a Level Ball. They missed their VMAX and we win. Nice. Ooh, we're going up against Mew V here. This will be interesting. Hmm. Question is, do I attach the double turbo to the active or to the bench um, Arceus that I'm going to get with this quick ball? kind of want to keep the path to the peak. Maybe I'll just get rid of this Inteleon. Yeah, because I'm going to end up researching anyway. So let's grab the another Arceus V here. Play that down let's put up the double turbo energy just in case because i do have pat the peak maybe they can't replace it and we'll see if they do then i wish i was playing around <laughs> of course of course they have the counter stadium of course oh they played a marnie okay well we lose our v star into path which is annoying but that means they don't play elisa sparkle and that means that our rcs v is going to survive for a turn and we did top deck an evolution incense plus a boss and an energy. We have kind of everything we need to take out this Mew. Right? Yeah, we do. They retreat into the Genesect and is that escape rope? Oh, you turd. Okay. Well, then we go into Sobble. Yeah, we're going to go into Sobble. Don't like that they made me go into Sobble, but we have our Beast. We top deck our V Star, so that means I can use this for a um, Drizzle. Let's get the Drizz. Let's play the Drizz. Our opponent might concede after they see what's going to happen, because I'm going to scoop up the Drizz. Put this in the active, attaching energy. That's okay. Play that. Play the boss's orders on the Mew. Play the RCS V Star. And we're gonna go with a Trinity Nova. I don't even need to use my Starbirth yet. And they can see that's how you knock out Mew. Get out of here. Alright, you saw me beat up on that Mew V Max player. They could not do anything about RCS. That's why RCS is kind of kind of broken. It's pretty good. You saw me beat up the weakness of Urshifu who could one-shot us, and we were still able to pull it off. Granted, we got a little lucky, but that just goes to show how close of a matchup it is, even though you're fighting against weakness. And then you saw me take out the most annoying Jolteon VMAX, and that's where Sharon's care really shine because they have a heart. They have to three-shot our Arceus, which makes it that much better, and it's awesome. Yeah, that was really fun matches to play. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time on Crash Blade Gaming.